On January 22nd, the Ukraine Socialist Solidarity Campaign organized a protest in Oakland to support political prisoners in Russia, in Burma, in Iran, and around the world, and also to support Ukraine in its struggle against Russia's invasion. Here is a speech given by Kin Thiri Nanderso of Burma explaining why she is here. Among other things, Kin explains that the junta has in effect declared war on the entire population of Burma, and that this strategy comes from Putin, who was waging war against the people of Ukraine, just as he did in Syria and in Chechnya in the past. Here is Kin. Okay. Hi, my name is Kin Thiri Nandaso. Um, I'm really honored to be here at this International Solidarity Rally for political prisoners at home and abroad uh, for uh, all the countries across the globe. So I'm originally from Burma, also known as Myanmar. Very gross human rights violations are happening there at present today. According to the Association for Assistance of Political Prisoners in Burma, AAPPB, there are 13,613 prisoners in Burma. So far, 2,750 prisoners have been tortured and killed since February 1st. 2021, where military coup happened. The military attempted a coup in Burma, Myanmar on February 2nd, 2021. The people overwhelmingly rejected the coup and are still resisting to date after two years. The military has degenerated into a terrorist group and is committing crime against humanity to subjugate the people by extreme force of arms. They are arresting, torturing, raping, and killing civilians. They are banning crops to starve the people and banning whole villages to make the people sick by depriving them of shelter. The people have taken arms to defend themselves. A civil war has started and there is a big humanitarian disaster in the making. The military is blocking humanitarian aid to areas where the people who are resisting them reside. We don't even want to call them the military. They are just a gag of criminals and only deserve to be called military terrorists. The military terrorists have a very clear strategy. This is a very important point I would like to share today. One side of this strategy is not to fight the armed resistance called the People's Defense Forces. But to fight the civilian population. This strategy is a typical Russian military strategy placed in the hunter's mind by Russia. Russia does not fight the armed opponent. Russia fights the civilian population. Ru the weapons which are killing the civilian have been provided by Russian government to the Myanmar. If somebody look at how Russia conducted the war in Chechnya, how Russia helped Assad of Syria survive, how Russia is today fighting in Ukraine, it was always systematic mass scale hitting on the civilian population. This is what the Myanmar Hunter is doing. The Hunter is internationally creating a huge humanitarian disaster. This is not a secondary consequence of the war. This is the primary 
goal of the Hunter military strategy to create a huge humanitarian burden, a crisis, a real humanitarian crisis on the other side of burden for every single stakeholder in Myanmar who is challenging the hunter. What the hunter is doing is criminal. The other side of the strategy is approaching ethnic resistant forces with the carrot of humanitarian aid and saying to them, hey, if you do even a temporary ceasefire with, with the hunter, you'll be able to get the humanitarian aid. We see a very dirty misuse of humanitarian aid for political purpose in the other side of this strategy. To summarize, to summarize on the one side, we have a very problematic Russia military strategy which is targeting the civilian population and on the other side a very very dirty game of humanitarian aid in which the final purpose is to achieve as many ceasefires to enable humanitarian aid so that the hunter can concentrate all of its military power to crush the resistance in the Myanmar heartland of Zagai and Maguay division. We are struggling at present to make the public more aware of this strategy. We need international assistance, especially from our neighbors to get around this, but we are getting very little cooperation from our neighbors like China, India, and Thailand. This strategy could make the unrest spread throughout the region. Thank you so much for listening to what I have to say. And I really would like to call for international solidarity, solidarity to work together, not only for Bombers Call, but for Iran, Ukraine, and also, you know, uh, across the all the country who are facing oppressions across the globe. Thank you. Thank you. Down with the military hey. junta. Down Victory with the junta. Down with Putin. Yeah. Down, down with, with the junta. Down with Putin. Long live international solidarity. Long live, Long live international, international solidarity. solidarity. Thank you.